Hey everybody, I'm Chris Massey and welcome to the Chris Massey Show here on the American Hearts Radio Network. We're coming to you live tonight from our studio here in downtown Atlanta. And tonight is episode 11, season 2, and the 27th overall episode of the Chris Massey Music Show. We appreciate everybody tuning in tonight. Now, in the news, one of the more popular subjects that goes around when people are talking about politics is taxes, you know, and I've always noticed I have a lot of uh, middle class Republican friends and they're always bitching about people not paying their own, sh their, their, their fair share of taxes. You know what I'm talking about? So, uh, anyway, so I decided to look at the history of taxes and this is what I found. It was in 1861 when Abraham Lincoln went to Congress and first proposed, uh, setting up some type of a tax system because he needed money to finance the Civil War. So, uh, let me tell you something, folks. It takes money to uh to start a war. So if you cut taxes and start a war, you can have disastrous results. If you don't believe me, just ask George W. Bush or that dumbass sidekick of his Dick Cheney. And I'll be glad to tell you exactly what happens when you do that. Now, as World War One ended, the highest tax rate on Americans was at seventy seven percent. And uh, we got through that war, and then Calvin Coolidge uh, made his way into the White House. And old Calvin decided that him and his friends were paying too much for taxes, so he dropped the tax rate down to 25%. Now, that 25% tax rate and some of his other economic policies, that led us right into the Great Depression. And if you were wondering, Calvin Coolidge was a Republican. I just thought I'd let you know. Okay. Now, Franklin Delano Roosevelt comes into office in uh, 1932, and the first thing he does is he raises taxes to 90% on the uh, richest Americans. He takes this money to get us out of the Depression, to finance World War II, and to set up the GI Bill, which uh, pretty much built the suburbs and the middle class as we know it now. 1952, O.I. Eisenhower got in office, and by the way, O.I. he's my favorite Republican, you know. <laughs> He, uh, he dropped the tax rate down to 70%, and that is where it stayed until 1980 when uh, Ronald Reagan came in, and old Ron decided that him and his buddies were paying too much in taxes, and they dropped the tax rate down to 35%. Now, some of you are going to say 70%, man, that is way too much for anybody to be paying in taxes. Well, it's really not, and here's why. Because when the tax rate is at 70%, by the time these rich people have all their write-offs in there, they end up paying about 38 or 40% in taxes, which in my opinion is about where the tax rate ought to be. But middle class Republicans, what they complain the most about is uh, Joe Policeman, who's married to Betty Schoolteacher, who have two kids and own a house, and they file their taxes according to the tax code, and with the write-offs they have, it comes out that they don't end up paying anything. But here's the reality. You know, when they say people uh, got half the people in this country not paying taxes, that's not true. If you have a job, you're paying FICA, you're paying state taxes. Um, if you buy anything, you're paying sales tax. When you buy gas, there's a tax on that. Um, if you own a car in the state of Georgia, you pay ad valorem tax. And if you own any property, well, you're paying property tax. So it's just not true that people aren't paying taxes. But what I always... Uh, floors me is, is they're so concerned about what people aren't paying is that what they don't realize is since the tax rate is 35% on the wealthiest Americans, that by the time they put all their write-offs in there, they're paying a whopping 13%. Mitt Romney made about $65 million in 2012, and he paid 13% in taxes. Now, your average middle class guy's making a hundred grand a year, he's probably paying about 26% in taxes. Now, you would think that the Mitt Romney scenario would be the one that pisses him off the most, but for some reason it doesn't. And I don't know really why that is. Now, if you go back in history as far as you want to go, biblical times, Roman Empire, whatever, what you'll find out is this. Poor people have never screwed anybody. It's always the rich. All right, All right we'll now. be right back. <laughs> <laughs> you get one for that one. <laughs> we'll be right back. Hey, I'm Leon Smoker. And I'm Rachel Jordan. And I'm Moses Moe from Mother's Finest. And you're watching the Chris Massey Music Show. 
Hey man, you remember that time with when you had open for Aerosmith? I do. <laughs> man, that, that was awesome. All right, we're back, we're back. I have with me uh, tonight two uh, American Hearts Radio Network celebrities. I have Batman. Thank you. And Santa Bob here from Jacksonville, Florida. You guys have been up here in Atlanta for a couple of days, and why don't you tell the people out there what you guys have been up to? Well, Santa Bob and myself, right, have been setting some paintings that we were donated to our network through Meg Scott. So uh, this, this is a sample of one of the pictures she's, she does. Oh, this is cool. the Statue of Liberty. We're going to take these to the veterans' organizations and things like that. And, of course, we have something like this, this sort of, sort of uh, painting she has. Done. We're also going to take that to uh, probably a nursing home or a children's area. We have pictures all, all over. And oh. Any any artist that out there would like to donate, well, we, we'd be gladly take them, and we'll be sure they get to the right people. That's right, Santa Bob. We do we a did. lot of good in the community, right? And Absolutely. if you have a benefit or something of that sort that you want to help, and get the word out, we can help you on American Hearts Radio. Isn't that, Chris? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. We, we, have a, we, can, we can reach out to a lot of folks here on the network. We certainly can. That's right. And as uh, talented as Chris is, we, are the, we have other talented people as well that can put on a show for your people and make things right. Where the hearts reach out, that's us. Well, I'm not that talented. They wouldn't let me wear a mask like you do. Well, you know, sometimes a little crime fighting, you got to do what you got to do. <laughs> okay, so when can we catch you guys on American Hearts? Uh, uh, well, radio? Santa Bob comes on on Saturdays at 6.30 p.m. Okay. okay. Keep in spirit with Santa Bob. Cool. All right. And, and you? I'm presenting vintage cartoons from 4 to 5 on Saturdays, right? But I'm telling you folks, right, I'm coming up on my own. Right, the network's going to be three years old come this Fourth of July, and they've given me a marathon, and I want you to watch. I'm bringing you all the good stuff, isn't that right? Uh, I know you'll be watching. Absolutely. Well, all these kids now they miss out on all these great cartoons. You know, when I was a kid, you got up on Saturday morning and you watched cartoons till your mother made you go outside. You know, that, that's what I did, and um, uh, you know that that's just not the way it is now with the way TV is and the Cartoon Network. But uh, if you want to catch some vintage cartoons, the good stuff. Tune in to the Batman show. Thank you. That'll be 11 o'clock on Saturdays, right? Coming on July, the marathon, all the way up to 5. And let me reiterate how much we like to put our hearts out to veterans, first responders, right, and the people who guard our shores, all right? We're all about that. And I'm telling you, we love you out there. God bless America. Absolutely. Anything that you, uh, anybody would like to help us in what we're doing, please let us know. If you want to show them, show. Contact us at American Arts Radio. That's right. We do commercials. We can have your own show. And just contact our CEO, Michael Hoya, at 904-229-8150. That's 904-229-8150. And thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Batman. Yeah. Thank, thank you, you Santa Bob. We'll be right back. Are you looking for a great night out? Are you in the Atlanta, Georgia area? Are you looking to check out some live, awesome music during the week? They have keno, poker tournaments, horseshoes, and special events. It's all at the Moon Shadow Tavern. That's at 3976 Lawrenceville Highway in Tucker, Georgia. That's the Moon Shadow Tavern. Give them a call, 770-674-2133. Check out their selection of great food, friendly service. Visit their website at msttucker.com. That's www.msttucker.com. Moon Shadow Tavern is a proud sponsor of the Chris Massey Web TV Music Show on www.americanheartsradio.com. Make sure you told them that American Hearts Radio sent you. Visit their website, check out their great selection of food, appetizers, wings, burgers, sandwiches and wraps, steaks and chicken, salads and sides. Also their drink specials. Live music during the week. Check them out. Give them a call. 770-674-2133. All right, 
back. We're back. We're back. Hey, how are you doing okay over there tonight? Yeah, I'm straight now. You're straight now. <laughs> I got you straight. That's right. That's right. All right. My uh, guest tonight is a very talented uh, guitarist and singer. Um, he uh, got to Atlanta in 1984 and played the frat circuit for a while. And then in the 90s, he got together in a band called the Lizard Men, and they still play today doing original music. And he's also one of the uh, front men for the Rainman, one of the hardest working bands in Atlanta. Would you please welcome to the Chris Massey Show, Mr. Michael Meyer. Yeah. Come on up, man. How are you? I'm good, man. Have a seat. All right. All right. Okay. So, Mike, um, we uh, we did a benefit together this past Friday night yep. at Smith's Old Bar. It was, was a lot of fun, and I got to uh, hang around and catch you guys set. You guys played a couple bands after us. And I'm... Uh, so tell me a little bit about uh about the Rain Men. You guys do make you guys do mostly sixties pop music, is that right? Mostly sixties and early seventies. Yep. And uh got three guys that can sing. Yep. And uh and I'm just gonna tell you, you know, and, and I'll tell anybody out there, I've been around the music scene in Atlanta since nineteen eighty, and the Rain Men are one of the best vocal bands that that I have ever seen. I mean you guys do it and it well, sounds sounds just like the record and uh and I and I and I and I really enjoy it and you guys. You guys are playing every weekend, every Friday and Saturday every, lots of times. Every Friday, yeah, at least one night out of the weekend, sometimes both. Yeah, I think David Michelson thinks he's back in the satellites. Yes, he, <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> well, well, there's nothing wrong with that, you know, if you if you like to play because he's keeping you guys working all the time. He's keeping us busy. It's a good thing, yeah. And you're playing this weekend over at, uh, what's the club you're playing? Tin Roof Cantina. Tin Roof. That's your first time over there, right? That's right, Saturday night, yep. yeah. Well, I'm sure it won't be. I'm sure it won't be the last. Now, tell me a little bit about this other band you've got going on, the Lizardmen. Lizardmen uh, are a band that started out uh, basically three friends and uh, Spider Davis, who I'd played with in, a, on the frater in the fraternity circuit band for years, mm -hmm. doing started out doing obscure 60s covers and just songs that we liked and uh, started writing our own material and just kind of went from there. 21 years later, we're still around. Okay, and you were telling me it's kind of a garage rock type Yeah, type it leans more towards the British Invasion garage rock. Oh, okay. You know? All right. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, that, um, that fraternity circuit, mm -hmm. it's gone. It, it, I would it, assume it, so, it, yeah. It's just dried up and gone away. I mean, kids now, um, you know, they're, not, they're no more interested in having a live band at a party <laughs> um, than a man in the moon. And it was and it was a really good deal there in the 80s, you know, because fraternities were having uh, bands just about every weekend. They certainly, Yeah, in the South they were, for you sure. You know, I know in, in the, I was in a band called The Installers, and we got booked over at Auburn, and it was the day they played Florida State, and Florida State beat them 42 to nothing oh, that wow. afternoon. And uh, everybody was wasted when we got there, and we played one set, and they paid us $1,000, and we packed up our stuff and headed on back to Atlanta. <laughs> Sometimes you know, it was good for like that back then. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. That, that's right. They were in no mood to party, you know. <laughs> uh, but um, now we were talking the other day. Uh, I mentioned to you that uh, you know you play a you got a beautiful uh, cherry red 1966 Gibson S330. Is that correct? Yes, ES330. ES330. Yeah. And um, and we were talking about you know it's uncommon to see a hollow body guitar. In a rock band, I mean, most of the time when yeah. you see that, it's going to be in a blues band. But, a lot uh, of British but, Invasion guys used them. That's right. You know, um, and uh, that guitar affectionately is known as Ruby, by the way. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, you know, at the time when I, uh, that was a very fortunate pawn shop find. I was actually looking for a Rickenbacker hollow body, and a friend of mine worked in a store. He said, you need to come play this guitar, or I'm going to buy it. I went and played it, bought it. How long have you had that guitar? Uh about 22 years, 23 years, I bet. That's a long time. It's been my only guitar thought, for that, about that long time. That's that, one that I play all the time. Well, it sounds great. You know, you, you pretty much carry the rhythm for the uh, yep. uh, for, for the Rain Man, and it, uh, it works out really well. And I want to tell you, too, man, I know a great song you guys ought to do. You need to do uh, Treat Her Like a Lady by the Cornelius Brothers. Oh, yeah. You're yeah, that would be a good song. That song. Absolutely, you yeah. You guys could do that, yeah. man, and do those harmonies. Oh, that'd be kick-ass. <laughs> I'll take all the credit for that, David Michelson, by the way. <laughs> By the way. It's all him, man. It's all him. <laughs> so when are the Lizard Men going to be played again? Lizard Men, uh, we have some dates coming up this summer. Unfortunately, they are private events. Okay. Uh, we do private shows from time to time. Well, it's really not unfortunate summer. for you guys because private events usually pay more. And they're a lot of <laughs> yeah, and they're a lot of and they're a lot of fun. But uh, hopefully this fall, you know, we get the Lizard Men working a little a little busier again. Plans to hit the studio at some point again too. Oh, so, okay, great, great. Yeah, okay. Working on some new material. 
Okay, so the Rain Man, uh, you're going to be at uh, the Tin Roof this weekend, and uh, w- what's coming up after that? Um, following weekend was Saturday, I guess that is the 19th, we're at Abbey Road Live, which I believe is in, I want to say Alpharetta. Oh yeah, Abbey Road, okay. Yep. Alright, great, okay. Yep. Well Michael, it's always a pleasure to see you, my friend. Thank you so the much The Rain for Man, everybody, me. if you haven't seen them, you need to check them out, they're hot. We'll be right back! Serving Atlanta since 1998, Massey Gutters understands the challenges specific to our area. Massey Gutters is familiar with all aspects of gutters and roofing. We use only the highest quality materials with our fully trained and professional staff. You are guaranteed to get quality service and work. References available upon request. Call us today for a free estimate, 404-314-6800. Again, that's 404-314-6800. Call Massey Gutters today. 404-314-6800. You're watching the Chris Massey Music Show. And by the way, I'm Johnny Van Zandt and Leonard Skinner. Classic album review. I'm joined by acclaimed rock critic Leon Smoker. Leon, how are you doing tonight? Cool, man. I'm doing great. How about you, Rach? You good? Awesome. All okay. right. So, Leon, before we get started tonight, we're going to talk about what happened last week. Okay, what happened to you? What happened? I'm talking about me coming to your house, picking you up, taking you to get something to eat, and then you not having any money. When did that happen? Last week. <laughs> I don't remember anything about that. Okay, well, let's try to jog your memory. No way, man. I'm not jogging, man. One time I was jogging, and I had this weed stuffed in my sock, man, and there was this cop on the side of the road. Shut up, Leon. Just shut up. Just try to remember. Hey, man, I really appreciate you picking me up, man. How do you not have any food at your house? Well, you know, man, I meant to get some the other night when I went out to buy some weed, and I I guess I just forgot. Well, what do you want? No, I don't care, man. Burger Deluxe? Yeah, that's cool. Alright. Uh, yeah, man. Um, I'll have a, uh, a pepperoni pizza and, uh, and a meatball sub. I'm sorry, sir. We don't serve pizza here. Well, okay then, man. Well, then I'll just have the sub. Leon, they don't have Italian food here. Oh, okay. Alright, well, hey, man, let me, uh, let, let me get some fried chicken, man. Uh, they don't have fried chicken either. What about that? Burgers and fries. It's Burgers Deluxe. Oh. Uh, why would we come here? Because you said you wanted to. I did, didn't I? Yes. All right, man. Well, let me just get a, uh, let me get a burger and a fry. One burger deluxe and one burger and fry. Six fifty-six. Okay, Leon. Six fifty-six. Well, why are you telling me? Don't tell me you don't have any money. Okay. You don't have any money? Well, man, you told me not to tell you. Oh, my. Thank you very much. Come again. Here. You're a pain in my ass, Leon. Thanks, man. What are you doing? What's it look like I'm doing? I'm rolling up a joint. I like to smoke one before I eat, man. It makes the food taste better. You've got two seconds to put that pot away. Man, I tell you what. The next time... And I need someone to come pick me up, man, and drive me somewhere and buy me some food. You're going to be the last person I call. You know what? You're an idiot. Well? But what? Do you remember me buying you dinner? Oh, yeah. I really appreciate that. (laughs) Are you going to pay me back? Look, man, I didn't have any money then. What the hell makes you think I've got any now? Well, you got weed on you, don't you? I do. As a matter of fact, you want to smoke some? Uh, I got some right you're here. You're impossible. Just take us out. Join us next time. Hello, on the... Mr. Massey. Hello. 
Hello, Mrs. Rachel. Oh, shit, oh, man. I'm so happy to be here. Man, hello. Oh, I can feel the love. Man, yeah. this is like a bad acid oh. trip. It's the, it's, the oh, red, it's, it's, the, it's the redneck oh, Muslim, oh, man. I am so happy to oh, be here, God. Mr. Oh. Mr. Leon Smoker. Oh. I heard you had some really good Afghanistan. I do. Yes. It smells like you've already been smoking some or well, kissing the camel one. I don't know which one it well, is. Well, you know, I do kiss my camel, Irma, and I love her very much. <laughs> you know, Irma, I got her half price at the, at the used Camelot, yes, because she has half a hump. Half a hump? Yes, so I got her half price. <laughs> <laughs> and then I like to go in the desert and smoke Afghanistan with her. That's right. You should come with us, Mr. Smoker. Hello, Mrs. Jordan. Hi. Oh, I'm so happy. You remind me of one of many of my wives. <laughs> Yes, you oh, do. Thanks. Well, hey, man, why don't, why, don't we take, why don't we take it out, man? With, well, uh, first, I with... have to tell you, I need help, okay? Okay. Yes, I have a problem in my belly. Oh, shit. Oh, I, have a bubble. Oh, I have a bubble in my belly, oh, and I need a bubble no. out of me. You better move yes. back, oh, hold on. I've seen oh, this before. I can't feel it. Oh, God. Oh, 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 my gosh. Oh, thank you so much. Well, goodbye, everybody. Sing with me. Let's sing together. Give me three steps. Oh, no, let's just do here's a lullaby. Listen. Follow me, okay? Okay, then. Okay. <laughs> celebrate. Celebrate. Join us next time on the Hippie Dippy Classic Album yeah. Review. Whoa. We will be here without the redneck muslin. <laughs> All right. We're crying out loud, yeah, man. You, you got to let somebody know when you're going to be doing this crap. Yeah. He's a witch. That's my everybody. God almighty. All right. We'll see you next time. everybody, I'm Chris Massey from The Chris Massey Show. You know, one of my favorite places to hang out, eat, and play music is the Moonshadow Tavern in Tucker, Georgia. Moonshadow Tavern, they got great food, great drink, and great live music five nights a week. Right now at the Moonshadow Saloon, you can go and get five appetizers for five bucks, five bucks each. That's right, five appetizers for $25. So just go down there and get them. Hell, those appetizers, man, that's a whole meal in itself. 